everybody! Hello! We are back with more Dwarf Fortress! And a certain something has happened. A blacksmith has decided to ta be taken with a mood. As he has gone... Well, he's not fair or anything, he's just been taken by a mood. Hooray! So, odds are he's a blacksmith. He's close to the blacksmithing forges. So I'm going to bet that he's going to be a blacksmith of uh, some description. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But he will do some blacksmithing. Uh, okay, so... Is he going to claim one of these two? That'd be nice. Are people still dumping shit anyway? Oh my god, they're still dumping stuff. Loads of pages of crap there, and they're still dumping shit. <laughs> so, we're going to see what he wants. When he takes his little spot. Okay, he's claimed a magma forge. General... Particularly secretive. Leather... Gems, leather, gems, metal, gems, cloth, leather, gems. I think he wants a lot of a lot of leather and gems. Not much metal. So let's watch him and see what the base is going to be as he goes off to collect his first metal. I guess this is a time where I could start like forbidden, forbidding all these bars of metal, but I kinda just want to let him go and grab whatever it is he wants on his own. I've got a lot of copper there that needs to be processed. And he's going off to... Okay, what do you have? Silver. Okay, so it's going to be silver that we start with. There we go. We're starting with some silver. Silvery doodly doos. Yes. I've also been digging this area out to add extra water into this to try and fill it faster because it ain't filling very fast. <laughs> In fact, it's not really filling up at all. Wow, that is pretty freaking garbage. Oh boy. That is just not impressive, is it? It's evaporating away so fast. <sighs> to do what I need to do, to do what I want to do, is going to take so much freaking water. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what I'm looking at there. Yes. There we go. I'll dig a few of these things and try to get it to work that way. Because look at how little water's getting in. It just isn't filling. It is not filling. It's going to take multiple streams of water to do this. This is going to be a bit annoying. <sighs> uh, 
And one nice thing is this kind of doubles as the uh, drowning chamber. So it's taken a workshop down here. He's got himself some silver. He's now got himself a gem, I'm assuming. Rough cat's eye. And we're cutting that. We're tunneling that out. Dig, dig, dig. Dump items. A lot of people are just dumping stuff, so not all that much has happened since the previous episode. I think we're done much of the dumping, though. Which is good. Huh. Pigtail cloth. All that other wonderful fun stuff. And we'll have three parallel tunnels with water to try and fill that. Because now it's just evaporating. Which is the big problem we're running into. It's evaporating faster than, than the water's going into there. <sighs> That is just problematic. I'm hoping having four different streams will fill it. I was hoping one would do it. But I was wrong. It's going to take more than one. We've now got uh, silver bars and cat's eye. Yeah, we'll be back when that guy starts working on his thing to look at what he has in here. Now that I know I can just hover over it, and it'll show... Oh, cool, we've cleared it. Not quite. We got an item in there. Yeah, now that I know that it shows a stack of what's in there, of all those different numbers of items, I don't have to keep track of what these guys are grabbing individually now. I didn't know that could be done before. So we'll be back when this guy starts his construction. We can see what materials he is using. So don't... Why am I doing the subscribe thing? Uh, I just paused the recording for this. We'll be back. In just a one second for you guys. And I'm probably going to be eating dinner. It's running so slowly. Alrighty, so Moses, which is now what I'm calling him because that's his name, has started his construction. The base metal is silver. That's got alpaca, three koala leather, more term lines, and a single cut jasper opal. And that's what is listed. So, I walked away, so let's see where our miners are with their stuff. Okay, they're getting up to there. <clears throat> DH. Hmm. I could dig this actually kind of wide. Good. That's only four? Yeah, that's only four. So these will be four wide. For this set, resume. Resume, resume, resume. Dig that out to about there. Dig that out to about there. We shouldn't be getting in each other's way there. this open into the top I've had them uh, re-close the bridge or maybe I didn't because it's not even <laughs> okay no it's still going down it just ain't going anywhere uh, I haven't had them do it yet because then that would be in the on position when I go to link everything up. And it is costing me frame rate, so I pull build T 
lever. Just build two levers. And that'll do the job. Because the water's doing weird fun things now because it's evaporating and bringing me down to seven frames a second. And hooray. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Is everybody still dumping stuff? Oh my god, they're still dumping shit. Well, um, at seven frames a second, this could take a while. But there is something we can do for the moment, because I made coins last episode. Z, stocks. And we go down over through here. Let's see what coins are like for this year. Will they be more interesting than the previous year? Let's see. Year 20, front of the coin of spirit, designed image of Earl, and dwarf and arrow, surrounded by dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of Earl Twinklebolt to the position of king. Goody. Rendition of crew of daggers, finally designed image of cloth, a symbol of mysterious trumpets. That's a not, do, not too bad coin there. Silver coins from 20. Rendition of crew of daggers, fine designed image of cloth, the civilization image. And an image of the youthful innocence, the steel ran Rissid. Okay, so we got a musical instrument. And the copper ones show... Wow, this is a lot. Twinkle Bolts again, surrounded by dwarves, relates to ascension of the Twinkle Bolts to the position of king. Back is an image of wild races, the dwarf and dwarves. So surrounded by dwarves, relates to the ascension of wild races to the position of king and the mysterious trumpets of one. So now we have coins with both the new king on the back, on the front and the old king on the back. The new king has been king for a very long time. Resume. And I'm going to once again pause the recording because there's no reason to wait until he's done. At seven frames, six frames a second. Woot. And here we are! Um, the blacksmith has indeed made an item. It's a silver crutch. Someone who breaks a leg is going to be very happy. So let's see what the properties of said silver crutch are. Okay. Uncushioned with tourmaline, studded with silver, decorated with alpaca wool, koala leather, and circled with bands of koala leather. On the image is a square cut gem in cat's eye. Uh, image of Balls, Bells Bridges, the toads. Surrounded by toads. <laughs> Balls Bridges looks terrified, so I'm thinking Balls Bridges is scared of toads. This should be funny. I'm going to have to look at Balls Bridges. And there's an item of br a dwarf in koala leather. So, Balls Bridges. Balls, balls, balls. Okay, fine. I can't see you there. So this guy, is this, is this guy even a guy that's in the fort? Where's the search queue? No. No. This guy's not in the fort. Ustuth? 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 Q. We got you, and we got you. Well, that's not it there. You're not it. Uh, let's see. Incredibly muscular. Detests rats. So. You, Q. Mm, you. It is you. So you're already being made fun of. <clears throat> Let's see. You detest toads. So the metalsmith just made a crutch that makes fun of you. Which is interesting because this guy is nobility. 
which means if I go and look at a re representation of authority, if I go to look at this guy, he should hate that. He's happy after creating an artifact, so this guy will never go mad. Do, 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 do. Curious, grateful, doesn't focus on material goods, little determination and confidence. She's currently more confident, not particularly interested in what others think of her. Not lustful. So you don't exactly have a problem with authority. I hope your life isn't unexciting anymore. Hasn't drank in a while, hasn't had a decent... How do you not have a decent meal? In this fort? Crike. Abstract thinking. Unfocused after being away from friends. No practice of martial art. Okay. R. Do you hate this guy? No, you don't hate him. You're just making fun of him. Okay. Just made fun of him. For the sake of making fun of the guy. Okay, so that area is kind of dug out, but not really completely yet. And then we'll dig this out here. That should be 4, H, like that. I'll go back to here. I'll dig this place out. To about there, H, and we'll set that up. And I will just have the dwarves do that on their own time. There's no particular reason to record this. <clears throat> so, we will be back next episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I might end up just doing the um, one episode a year because of how slow it is at single digit frame rates of six frames a second. We might just have to do that. One of you are now in the water. Oh, you're back out. Good. So, we'll be back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because Otherwise, you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenGeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.